Hey there, I'm your host Lasoe, and in today's video, I'll show you how you can create an on screen prompt. So, you'll be able to apply this to pretty much anything, such as doors, chests, and even items. So, let's begin. Open up your project and go to the content drawer. Inside here, I'm going to right click, user interface, widget blueprint. I'm going to select user widget and I'll call it WB underscore prompt. This is what you're going to see, and this will appear on our screen. Let's double click, and inside here, I'm going to create a canvas panel. Then on top of this, we can add an image or a text. I don't have an image, so I'll simply be just using the text. And size to content for the text, I'm going to say press E to use door. So as you can tell, I'll be using this for my door blueprint. Then anchor it in the center and drag it like so. Then select your image or text and over here find color and opacity. We will create a new binding. Then select your return node. We can duplicate this. And for our first, we're going to promote it to a variable and this is going to say pressed. For our second, let's promote to variable as well and this will say default. So then compile and save. If you select your pressed, you will have the RGB values, which are your colors, and your A, which is your opacity. So for the pressed, I want it to be a 0.2 value. I want it to be a little bit darker. And for my default, I want it to leave it the same, except for G, just change this value to be 1, like so. And next, let's create a variable, which is going to say is pressed. And if is pressed is true, it's going to go into a branch. So hold B and press left mouse button. And true is going to say pressed, and then false is going to say default. So we are done with this, with let's compile and save. And now to add it to our door. So if you don't know a shortcut, select your item and hit control E, and it'll bring you straight to the blueprint. So inside here, we actually want to display it on the screen first. So to do so, select your collision, right click, add event, add on component, begin overlap, and let's add end overlap. So here I'm going to drag from the spin and create a widget. The widget being our prompt. So search for that. There we go. We're going to promote this to a variable and it's going to say prompt ref. And from here, I will simply add to viewport. So there we are. Then select your reference, drag it onto the screen, get it. And we will remove from parent when we are no longer in range. Connect that like so, and just to test this, if it works, compile and save. So there we are, and it appears on the screen, but it doesn't change color. So if we change that, let's go back. And over here, I'm going to drag this out. I'll get my prompt reference, and set is pressed to be true. We can copy paste this and get a delay in the middle. So press D and left mouse button. And the delay I want to be 0 0.1 is good for me. And then is pressed is false. So if we add this code into our button right here, it should allow us to have a default opacity and the pressed. And this is wrong because, yeah, I forgot to connect that. So compile and save. And if we play our game, our button should change color. There we are, just like so. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.